So you're playing Daybreak, like normal, doing gens, whatnot, when suddenly the killer starts hauling ass towards you like this motherfucker wants you dead. But you're like, holy shit, I don't even know how to loop. How do I, how do I get away from this chase? So you quickly pause the game and search up on YouTube how the hell to loop in this game. But unfortunately for you, there hasn't been a reliable video about that in like a year. But luckily for you, I'm a pro. So I can now properly teach you in this video how to loop in Daybreak 2. So before we start this video, I would like to just take a little bit of time to thank the support and the reception the last two videos of Daybreak has gotten. I know I said that wrong, but honestly, in this entire video, I am going without script because I do not roll that way. So thank you for all the support I've gotten recently. And just let me know in the comments what other topics in this game should I go over, such as, you know, guides to however mechanic you want me to explain or characters or whatnot without further ado let's get into the video and with that i will now be covering the first step into looping properly and that step is knowing your character now daybreak has a vast variety of different characters with different stats and the stats that you want to be looking at is your speed and your stamina stats when it comes to looping and of course higher speed and stamina stats are better when it comes to doing chases because of course you don't want to be that motherfucker that plays crosby or a gen type character who has six speed and stamina and they can't run for shit so you're gonna think that you're good at looping when you really aren't and then you're gonna get caught and look like a dumbass and some characters have perks that will come to help you when you're looping or trying to run away in a chase whatever the case may be these characters consist of john nathan even though we don't play get nathan the hell out. or viona now that that we have discussed that we could discuss our next step in this tutorial and that is map knowledge now if you want to loop you need to know where to loop and with that you need map knowledge so what you need to do is basically know the surrounding area of where you're at right now before the killer starts to chase you just in case if that killer pulls up and that motherfucker wants to stab you in your ass you know where to go because if you unfortunately do not know where to go you're gonna end up running into a wall and then you're screwed some examples of these locations are the bottom of dawnwood pines those vaults then they're gonna be the entirety of the street and the beach map and especially the next to the greenhouse and the burial ground that is a good ball as well once you recognize these locations and you are comfortable with the routes that you need to take to loop the killer properly there is a couple of other steps that you need to know before you actually put this into practice the next step we're going to be talking about is very important which is patience when you're being chased by the killer it is probably very easy for you to just spam vaults which means like once you're coming towards a vault and you, you just spam space or whatever the key by may be you want to just vault as fast as possible but then the killer can easily just move around the vault and then hit you down and then you're screwed you don't want that happening to you so what you need to do is pay attention you need to have patience when you're being chased because you don't want to make a wrong move and then you get down for it because in this game making wrong moves during chases is very punishable and you will get down for making the slightest mistake which leads perfectly to the next step which is staying vigilant you need to be very attentive to your surroundings you need to know how close the killer is from you you need to see what's in front of you so you don't run into a wall or not know where to go and you need to also see what's around you because you never know if there's other survivors which you could potentially pass the chase on to and hopefully have the killer chase that person instead of you if you're running out of stamina and the last but most important step to the basics of looping is your stamina you need to learn how to conserve your stamina as much as possible when you're being chased because your stamina is your lifeline without your stamina you're nothing you're down you're good as dead it is recommended you keep your stamina at a good 20 or 10 percent at least you need to be able to sprint at all times putting your bar way too low near below 10 will lead your bar to turn red which means you are unable to sprint so you gotta always keep that bar white as long as you keep the bar white you can run and it will save your life now that we have covered the basics we can go over some more advanced tactics when it comes to looping the first one i think i should share is locker gameplay some characters in this game revolve around lockers or do very well with lockers 
Sometimes they allow you to go into a locker without making noise, which is very helpful in chases because if you move out of sight from the killer, you could hop into a locker and you will not be found. Unless the motherfucker is so damn nosy that he checks every single locker around his proximity, which is fucking annoying, but they do that sometimes. The next tactic that I will explain is mind games. Now, mind games is probably the hardest to do because most of the time they're 50 50 and they're always actually 50 50 because you never know what your killer is going to do but you can try to mind game them to make them miss their swings or whatnot it is very hard to do it well but once you get the hang of it or if you're facing a bad killer it is very easy to mind game them pay attention to this clip where i move towards the vault but i don't actually go over it making the killer think that i was about to vault but i didn't and i'll do it again another time to see what i'm talking about so basically i would move towards the vault which makes them think i'm gonna go over it but i really didn't so them thinking that they're gonna get an upper hand on me by going around the vault and hopefully swing at me they basically give me more space to run away and the last advanced tip which is basically survivor abilities that allow you to counter the killer such as mammo's bat gavin's gun or fucking nathan these abilities allow you to stun the killer slow the killer or even blind the killer with EJ's camera, which gives you and your other survivors time to escape. So that's all the tips I have right now for looping. That is the complete guide so far. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you guys find this useful. And if you don't, then don't blame me when you die. But anyways, I hope everyone has a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Look behind you. I said, look behind you. Look behind you.